My name is Dr. Anthony Fauci, and I'm the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health. And I made a decision back then in the midsummer of 1981 to completely change the direction of my career and start to study this disease whose cause we did not know. And I began admitting patients to the National Institutes of Health Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland, who had this disease. Uh, my mentors, the mentors who put me on the projects that, quote, made me famous, uh, thought I was crazy to leave a successful career to start studying a curiosity disease that was thought to be at the time only among gay men. But I, I just felt this overwhelming burning need to do this and I even wrote an article back at late 1981 that was published in 1982 saying and predicting that anyone who assumes that this curiosity disease is going to stay confined to a small group of people because at that time there was only a hundred or so people reported with this disease. I said in a commentary which was much criticized because people were saying I was being alarmist I said in that commentary that anybody who thinks that this is going to stay confined to a restricted group of people is making an assumption that's totally not based on any reality. And then starting in 1981, I spent the next several years until we developed therapy for HIV, seeing essentially all of my patients die. Uh, the median survival was six to eight months, meaning 50% of the people would die in six to eight months. Till now, with the therapies that we've had the, the ability to develop over the last several years, if someone comes in with HIV AIDS, they, they can put them on therapy now, and I could look the person straight in the eye and say, I could mathematically predict that you'll live an additional 50 years. So it goes from six to eight months to 50 years. That's a very uh, extraordinary experience to have gone through to seeing all of your patients die to pay people essentially living.